So it's me, your little boy, Kiss Samson. So I have something special for us choosing words today. You know, your enemies are bothered. <laughs> yes, believe me. You know, my daddy used to tell me all that. Not the way you shoot catapult. The speed, it will end like that. You know what I'm saying? Not the way you release a bullet. Is this that the same speed it do what it go? When it's about to reach to the, the to the final destination, it do what it go down slowly. So what am why am I saying this? Is because people who thought you will bother the moment they leave are now bothering. <laughs> people who thought you will shake the moment they leave. They are now bothering because you are even more stable than you do used to do when they were with you. So people who thought you would be shaking, your your life will be shaking, you will just be panicking. How will I do it without that? How will I cope? How will I succeed? You, people who thought you will you will bore that too much because of their accent. Majority of them today are now what bothering. Yes, because sometimes people don't value what they have until they do what they miss it. And sometimes this word that we do used to say that, you know, uh, if people don't value what they have. Sometimes it does not go the way I said it earlier before. Sometimes when some people live in your life, that is the greatest deliverance God will give to you. When some people walk away from your life, that is the greatest deliverance God will give to you. So, so some people, why am I saying this? Some people leave you not knowing that that is the greatest gift, the greatest opportunity that God has given to you. When Joseph leave his brothers, that marked the beginning of his old breakthrough, marching into his promised land. But when he was with them, things were not moving the way it ought to. So that is why you need to understand that some people will tell you that if they live your life, you won't be able to make it nor succeed. If they live your life, you will be bothered, not knowing that God is using them to show his wonders by letting them go. Not knowing that sometimes by letting these people go is a breakthrough, is a testimony, is a miracle. Because miracle cannot tire God of doing. So God is not tired of doing miracle. So that is why you need to understand that sometimes when people live in your life, you need to celebrate. Because not everyone who stay with you are really with you. Sometimes you need to let garbages go in order for the right people to stay. So why am I saying this is because majority of people are bothering secretly. They are bothered. Because... They have made the mistake of leaving you. They have made the mistake of having that, or that mindset that they will surely be able to see someone out there. They will surely be able to find out someone that is better than you because they have fully come to understand that there is no one out there that can take your place. There is no one out there that can replace you. And this is the main reason why they are unhappy. This is the main reason why they are filled with sadness. This is the main reason why majority of people up there are absolutely devastated. This is why life is exactly hitting many. This is why a lot of people cannot be comfortable whenever they are what we do or without you. Because they have finally come to understand that they made the mistake. So their thought was that if you if they live your life, you will start to bother too much. You will start to overthink. You will start to have sleepless nights. You will start to you know think about them. That may lead you to that point where you will come back to them. But believe me, majority of these people who have left you are secretly what bothered. They are bothered. Life is bothering them. Life is hitting them because of your accent. Because they never believe that they will end up seeing someone whom they concluded as a failure. They will end up seeing him at the top. So they are unhappy. They are filled with what would pain. Because they are absolutely, exactly bored. May God bless you. Remain blessed.